focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's address the elephant in the room. Um, my freaking lashes are, I ripped off a fat chunk in the middle. Let's also address the issue that my nails look ridiculously crazy. It's because I just took my nails off. Oh, let's also address that I have my two gems in. Mm, let me just show y'all now before somebody asks me if I have braces. Mm, mm, uh, fire, huh? Hope you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I was gonna apologize and like set this whole like explain myself about why I haven't posted in so long because it has been fucking long. Stuff has happened and I can't even sit here and complain. Everyone's going through something. So it doesn't even really matter what my story was like. Everybody was going through something, you know, we hit a pandemic. I'm definitely gonna try to be consistent. I promise you guys. Um, I'm gonna try to be on this. So yeah, all the products I used from the drugstore, which is super easy and convenient because it's cheap. So I did this because I feel like it would relate to a lot of girls um, who are first starting out with makeup or, I mean, even if you're not first starting out with makeup, clearly I'm using drugstore makeup. I have been doing my makeup for years. Uh, there's nothing wrong with drugstore makeup. It's, <laughs> I have so much of it. So um, I just wanna let you guys know you do not need all this high-end makeup to look good. Um, so I just did like a short, easy, I hope it's short. I have to edit all this and see. But I never did a makeup tutorial on this look. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do not forget to do that. I, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, all the products will be listed down below. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Hey y'all, this is a bomb ass makeup look that I did on myself. It's like my glam go-to but natural look. This was all used with drugstore makeup, drugstore products, because you know we're about to save our coins during this pandemic. If you guys want to see how I did this, keep on watching. So for the first product I'm about to use is my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. This primer is super bomb. It definitely smooths out everything. I can really see it when I put the product on my face. It's very, very smooth and best of, pro best of all is super cheap, which I love and I know you guys are gonna love. I'm gonna be putting the prices and the list of products down below in the description box for y'all. <laughs> The next product I'm about to be using for y'all is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and it's in the shade Auburn. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, I believe, which I was into for a little bit, but I just got this one for the sake of the video. I honestly don't do my brows anymore. I do them and fill them a different way now, so I can show you guys another video for that if you want. But for the sake of this video, I just bought this Brow Wiz. Now, what I do is I just like to follow the shape of my eyebrows. Um, I also, if you guys didn't notice, like to get a lighter shade when I fill in my brows. Because I don't know if I just don't know how to fill my eyebrows, but I feel like when they look really dark, my eyebrows are already naturally thick, so it kind of just accentuates them a little bit more, but not in a flattering way. So I kind of just go for a little lighter shade just to fill in my brows. I don't really do too much. thing I'm gonna do is conceal my eyebrows I'm using the LA girl pro concealer the HD one it's in the shade pure beige what I like about this concealer is it is super blendable super smooth it's in a lighter shade tone because I like the to accentuate my eyebrows underneath it and make it look like they're freshly done 
and then i also just have a regular concealer brush you can honestly use any thin brush that is very precise and then i just follow underneath my brow Next product I'm gonna use is another LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is my favorite one. It's a color corrector. Um, there's no name shade on the thing, or I might have just wiped it off, but just any red color corrector. If you are a girl and you have dark marks, dark scars, or you know dark under eyes, this is a good product to put over it. All the LA Girl um, concealers are super cheap and super blendable so I am in love with this product drugstore foundations that I have the infallible pro matte by L'Oreal is one of my favorite ones the shade color that I am in is 111 this is such a beautiful foundation when it lays on the skin and I'm a very oily girl so I love being pro matte I highly suggest you guys try this foundation out it is super bomb and I can't forget about my beauty blender this is from real techniques it is honestly so bomb. If you don't have a beauty blender to blend your makeup, I don't know what you're using right now, but y'all need to try this out. And then my lashes started to act crazy so i need to just brush them but this is definitely not a step you guys need to worry about now i'm back in with another la girl pro concealer it's the same one and i'm just going to use this to highlight all the points of my face so it's going to be on the bridge of my nose underneath my eyes on my forehead and my chin that i use is my l'oreal paris true match powder this is super blendable as it says i have a neutral shade which is in the shade classic tan n7 and what i use this for is just to set underneath my eyes since i am not using my laura mercier baking powder this is a really good substitute and overall a really good face powder too if you wanted to put this all over your face I'm also about to use another L'Oreal True Match face powder. The shade name rubbed off, so I don't know what it says, but it is a warm toned powder, if you can see. And I'm just going to lightly brush this all over my face to kind of set my foundation. The next product I'm about to use is another True Match powder. This is a cool toned in the shade Cocoa. 
C8. I forgot to show it up close on camera, but this is what I use to create a contour look, and I just use it with an angled brush. A BH Cosmetics makeup brush set that I got this brush from but it's in 103 and it's just what I'm using to contour my nose I'm using the same contour true match color <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna grab is my Milani blush. This is a new blush that I just got. It's in the shade Spiced Rose, number 12. I am also using this with my Real Techniques brush that I bought at Target. Super bomb. I honestly just like to throw this all over my face to make me look really warm. working on my lips these are the NYX lip liners that I have honestly I just go and grab anything that's a dark brown because that's the only thing I feel like looks really good on me the two colors that I have is espresso and club hopper and then I'm gonna be showing you the one that I'm gonna be putting on I believe it's club hopper that I picked <laughs> is my NYX liquid suede lipsticks this is such a bomb nude it goes on super smooth and it's become one of my go-to's lately <laughs> Next thing I'm going to add right on top of my lip is this new lip gloss that I just got. It's by Milani as well and it's called Soft Rose in the number 08. Honestly, this lip gloss goes such a long way for me. I honestly just need to add a little dab and I'll be really good. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab my mascara and just put it on the bottom lashes. I have extensions on the top ones, so I don't need to put anything on there. The mascara I'm using is the Maybelline one. It's the Falsies Volume Express. The next product I'm going to be using to set my face is my Maybelline New York Lasting Fix one. This is the pink one. It's a new one that I haven't tried before. That's why I decided to pick this one over the NYX. But it definitely lasted really well and it sprayed a lot of product, which I love because I know it's setting into my skin. guys this is the final look i was so excited and happy i made this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe thank you guys mm -hmm.